This single woman hasn't left her front door in 18 years. She suffers from a severe mental illness. She vomits violently when she leaves the house. But today a handsome man fell on her doorstep. Years of singleness have given her a twinge. She dragged him into her house. The arrival of this man has completely disrupted her life. The man's name was William and he was an upstairs neighbor. He fell down the stairs in a drunken stupor. He hurt his leg. Anna said she'd call the doctor to fix his leg. William wanted to call a friend to take him back. Anna says there's no phone at home. William could stay here for a few days to recuperate. She could also look after William. William thanked her gratefully. He didn't realize he was stepping into a fire. When his sister Nina came home, she found men's clothes in the laundry. Anna had to tell her about William. Said she'd let him go when he got well. But Nina seemed very worried. She and Anna had been living together for a long time. She knows Anna has psychological problems and is very controlling. Yesterday, just because she saw her in love, Anna came back and beat her up. She was forced to fight back and hit Anna with an iron to get out of the house. Anna didn't dare take another step. She was forced to sleep in the corridor all night. Anna didn't want to leave William here for a few days. She snuck into William's room at night, warned him that Anna wasn't normal, told him to leave, and then she was ready to leave. But then Anna opened the door. She said she was sorry to bother you again. She has a glass of water for him. William asked what it was. Anna explains that it's a prayer water. The water was actually spiked with morphine. Anna used it to keep her calm. From then on, William drank the water regularly. The pain of his fracture was much less severe, but lying around was boring. William gave her the house keys. He asked her to get some books from his house. This was an impossible task for Anna. She turned to Mary, her dressmaker's customer. Her husband, who was a doctor, cured her of her agoraphobia. That's what kept her from going out. Mary was delighted with her change of heart. She said yes. The doctor called her. He told her to start by standing in the doorway. Anna tried to step outside. But as soon as she reached the door Anna started to feel sick. Then she fell down and vomited. In the evening, she told Nina about her attempt to go out. Nina was surprised. What made her want to change? Anna said. William asked me to pick up some books for him. It was just a matter of climbing the stairs and opening the door. But for me it's as hard as reaching for the sky. LM so far removed from the world and from real life. That's how serious L am. This house is like a huge coffin for me. L can't escape at all. With William, it's like a little slice of reality came into the house. I feel like I should take advantage of it. God has her trapped here. Nina's birth gave her strength. Now Nina is grown. And God brought William. Then she gave Nina the key. She asked her to help her. Anna began to try to dress herself. But her father's stern image always appeared. He criticized her for acting like a clown. Anna fell back into a state of painful self-doubt. Nina was also dressed up. She came to William's room again. William's leg was getting worse. William reassures her that the doctor has already looked at it. Nina knew it was impossible. The doctor never came. And Anna wouldn't let you contact anyone else. William said there was no phone at home. Nina told her there was a phone at home. It's just that Anna's in love with you. She won't let you leave so easily. William's pain increased. The drug addiction was getting the better of him. He begged Nina to give him the potion. Nina left when Anna found out. William was lost for a long time. The police came to the door. They were upstairs neighbors after all. But Anna had a phobia of squares and never went out. She didn't know her neighbors. The police didn't suspect a thing. After the police left, Anna came to William's room to confess her love. It was a little hard to say at first. Said no one had ever treated her like William. It made her feel respected and warm. William was lying still. We don't know what moved Anna. Anna had the courage to say she liked him. But all she got in return was William's doubts. No doctor and no contact with his friends. Do you want him to die? Anna is a liar. She won't tell the truth to anyone she loves. And she's keeping Nina a prisoner in her own world. Anna's words made her feel ashamed of herself. Nina was upstairs at William's house when she ran into his girlfriend. She told William's girlfriend that William was at her house. She was on her way to find him. A devastated Anna sees her dad again. This time, he taunts her for being too cowardly to tell her sister the truth. William's girlfriend knocked on the door and went straight to William. A devastated Anna doesn't want to sit around and wait. Just as she found William, Anna hit her with a pendant and knocked her out. William screamed for help. Anna knocked him out again. Then she started to deal with William's girlfriend. She grabbed a handsaw and started cutting her legs. William woke up, untied his leg and struggled to get out of bed. He saw blood all over the floor. He crawled towards the door. He was shocked by what he saw. He couldn't stay. He reached the door and unlocked it. 
but was trapped by the chains on the top. Anna blocked his way. Nina returned. The house was as normal as ever. Anna listened to William, told Nina the truth, but the truth was cruel. Anna told Nina when she was little. Their mother died giving birth to Nina. After she died, her father became obsessed with her. He tried to find traces of her in other people. He found her eldest daughter, Anna. For years he violated her every night, but dad wasn't satisfied. As Nina grew up, he tried to reach out to Nina again. He forced Anna to do something, so she pointed poisoned her father's food. After keeping the body in the house for a while, war broke out, and she claimed that her father was missing. Nina was devastated. Her whole life had been a lie to Anna. She wanted to leave. Anna threatened her that you're not going anywhere. Nina threatened to call the police and Anna slapped her in the face. They both go back to their room and start going crazy. Anna rips up the photo of her parents to get rid of the darkness. Finally she dared to be herself. Nina's trying to get out of here with William after a flurry of smashing. She lifts the covers and is shocked by what she sees. William's legs are sewn solidly into the sheets. She calmed William down and came up with an idea. The next day Anna's customer came in for measurements. She warned William not to make a sound. Mary took her daughter for a look round, told Anna she'd given Nina morphine. Anna became anxious. Then William made a noise. She had to go ahead and knock him out. Mary's daughter exclaimed. They realized that the mannequin in the dress was a real person. A head fell off the table. They begged for mercy. Anna said it was too late. She took the needle and closed the door. When Nina came back. She didn't know what had happened. She thought she'd kill William. When she saw that William was okay, she threatened Anna with morphine and asked her what happened. Monsieur said that Mary and William's girlfriend had found her. Nina accused her of killing four people. William's girlfriend was pregnant. Nina lured Anna to her room. She knocked her out with morphine and locked it. The scene in the tailor's room made her realize that what Anna had said was true. She wrapped a sheet around William's leg and led him to the door. At that moment Anna woke up. The ghostly father irritated her. Nina is leaving with your boyfriend furious. Anna violently yanked the door open. She kicks William in the leg. Anna's violent behavior frightens Nina. He fought with Anna. He stabbed her. Anna begged her not to kill her, and told her another secret. Nina had a picture with her mum when she was born. Nina found the place she was talking about. There was a skeleton and a picture. When she saw it, Nina was shocked to realize that her mother was Anna. She went to Anna. Anna gave Nina the necklace her mother had passed on to her. She was afraid to tell Nina. It was too embarrassing. Nina hugged her. She sang the lullaby Anna used to sing when she was little. After a while, she dragged William out the door and kissed him. She went back into the devastated house and closed the door. The film is called The Shrew's Lair. Shrews are rodents. They nest deep underground away from other animals. They are solitary. They have venom glands that can be used to poison larger prey. Anna has been trapped in this house since birth. She spent her life in the shadows, but she also craved attention and affection and wanted to keep the ones she loved. Her methods were extreme, but looking back over the first half of her tragic life, the toxin was her only weapon against the darkness.